Hey guys, today we're going to be planting some window boxes. This is my kitchen window. I have a window on this side of the brick and then I have one on the other side. I'm going to be planting these identical, but I wanted to take you through the process of me planting this first one. So currently you see there is no window box. Let me show you what I'm going to use to plant in today. So I picked up uh, one of these like hay racks. It's metal, has one of those mesh containers inside that will hold our soil. These are pretty inexpensive. Uh, you'll probably have to replace these every couple of seasons. But let me show you what flowers I got to put in these. So my goal with planting this um, window box is I wanted something that was going to be showy and colorful. This does get full sun for the majority of the day. I'm thinking at least 12 hours. So I needed something that was going to be able to handle a lot of sun, high heat, high humidity, and I wanted it to be showy, you know, for now until all the way deep into our summers. So I picked up some supertunias. If you've never grown supertunias before, they are a workhorse. Give them sun, fertilizer, water, and they are just so showy. These will probably at the end of the season be completely covering that planter I showed you. So it will just be full of blooms. So I do have two different varieties. I'm doing pinks and purples because that's what I like. Um, so this first one is called Pink Star. And Pink Star is a striped supertunia with pink and white. And then I'm also growing Bordeaux, which has got this beautiful purple with a deep, dark purple throat. But I think these two together is just going to be a perfect match. So first things first, let's hang up this window basket. So my windows, I'm thinking I'm going to hang them right underneath this hook in the center. Luckily it did come with screws, so all I needed was a screwdriver. So let's hang this window box. that's it. Hanging this would have definitely been easier with another person, but made it work. So now I'm, so now I'm just going to insert my liner. And if you're like me, you're already picturing how pretty this is going to be. So remember, these are going to be cascading over end of season. We're going to have pretty pink and purple bloom. So excited. I'm going to fill this up with some potting mix and then we'll get to planting. So there's not really a whole lot special about planting supertunias. All I'm going to do is dig a well, pop my flowers in there, and then just cover up the root system. Um, I didn't fill this container up all the way with potting mix. I figured I'd get everything settled in place and then I'd come back in and side dress it with additional potting mix. So let me get the rest of these planted. So now that I got these all potted up, again, these are the proven winners, Supertunia Vistas. Um, I have the star pink variety and then the Bordeaux. And I think these are just going to be a really good combination. I was able to fit six plants in here. And like I said, towards the end of the season, these are going to be completely covering the container. You won't even see the container. Uh, one thing that's really nice about the Supertunia Vista petunias is that they deadhead themselves. So once petunia is dead, they just let the flower go. 
which is amazing because one of the reasons why I typically don't like petunias is that when the flower has, you know, done its thing, shown out, and it goes to die, they don't look that great. And so in typical petunias, you have to come in and pick off the dead flower's death heading. Um, but these, they let that flower go, and they just keep pushing out new blooms. So I'm going to keep these um, fertilized on a weekly basis with a water-soluble fertilizer. That's just to encourage more blooms, further production, so we can get this hay rack covered and flowers in no time. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you got some inspiration if you wanted to add a planter box or window box in your area. Or maybe you were just looking for a flower that can take full sun. And I hope you um, were inspired by the sea petunias. I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Thanks for hanging out with me, guys. I'll plant with you later.